The human sperm is a motile structure formed of four parts head, neck, middle piece, and a long tail. The sperm head is oval in shape. It looks like an egg with a narrow cranial part and a wider caudal part. The length of the head is about 5 micrometers. Inside the head, the nucleus occupies most of the space. It contains a haploid number of chromosomes, I mean 23 chromosomes, which is the genetic material of the father required for fertilization. The anterior two-thirds of the nucleus are covered by a cap known as acrosome. This acrosome has an outer membrane, inner membrane, and it contains proteolytic enzymes known as lysosomal enzymes. These enzymes play an important role during fertilization. They digest the structures surrounding the oocytes to enable the sperm penetration of the oocytes. The caudal part of the nucleus contains a small depression called implantation fossa. Caudal to the nucleus, there are two centrioles. The proximal centriole is present in the implantation fossa, perpendicular to the axis of the sperm while the distal centriole is located slightly distal at the neck region parallel to the sperm axis. Examining a cut section of the centriole, it looks like a slender, surrounded by nine peripheral triplet microtubules. This is called a triplet microtubule because it contains three microtubules arranged together. This proximal centriole has an important role after fertilization, as it forms a mitotic spindles required for chromosome separation. The two centrioles are surrounded and connected by a banded structure known as connecting piece. The upper part of the connecting piece is covered by a convex cap called capitulum. The convexity of the capitulum articulates with the concavity of the implantation fossa to connect the head with the tail of the spur. Displacement of the connecting piece from the implantation fossa will result in separation of the head from the tail, forming what is known as decapitated spur, which cannot swim and consequently cannot reach the oocytes. From the distal centriole, the axoneme will extend till the end of the tail. It forms the backbone of the tail. Examining a cut section of the axoneme, it has a 9 plus 2 structural pattern. As you see, there are two central microtubules in the middle, surrounded by nine peripheral doublet microtubules. And these are called doublet because it is formed of two microtubules arranged together. Each doublet microtubule is supported by an outer dense fiber, known as ODF. This form a complex known as axoneme ODF complex. In the region of the middle piece, the axoneme ODF complex is surrounded by a tightly packed mitochondria in a helical pattern. These mitochondria provide energy required for sperm motility. Regarding the tail, it is formed of two parts principal piece and end piece. 
the tail does not have mitochondria. In addition, ODF number 3 and 8 are absent and replaced by two longitudinal pillars of fibrous tissue. Reps of fibrous sheaths extend between these two pillars to cover the axoneme ODF complex. And so the axoneme in the principal piece is covered by two fibrous supports, ODF and the fibrous sheaths. And finally, in the end piece, the axoneme is directly covered by plasma membrane without ODF and without fibrous sheaths.